You guys are so good. I'll just use my Thompson after I run out. Go, go, oh, I just go. received some ammo, so never mind. Oh boy. Those little canteens, man. They pick me up so well. Oh, thanks, man. Had to be the hero. Wow, who was there? What guy killed me? Oh, I start from here. Dang it. Why do we take the long way around? Why do we do that? Or do we have to? I don't think we have to, right? We could just go through the buildings over here. Oh, jeez, jeez, move! God! I shot again, man. Heads up, Jerry's outside. Grab that MG4. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's try this again. Clearing out those rooms, just making sure they're all set. Take this last gun out, and let's go over here, which will probably have us do. 
Or maybe that's that's it. Maybe that's the mission. Okay, one more level. And uh call it call it quits for tonight. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me fifty bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Freycor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R while you can. Going behind enemy lines. The Bavarian Alps. Wow. Whoa, 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 it seems that a couple of British officers, a Captain Price and a Major Ingram. I didn't know Captain Price made his debut in the first Call of Duty. I thought it was Call of Duty 2 that he made his appearance in. Huh. Oh, we have a BAR. A badass rifle. Or a big ass rifle, whichever one you prefer. Captain Price. I have to see him. So I thought he made his first appearance in Call of Duty 2, but I guess it was this one. Now, I played Model, my handful of Model for 2, and I've played a handful, of, well not a handful, I just played a little bit of Model for 3. Um, I only mainly played, I played Medal of Honor, or Medal of Honor, Modern Warfare 2 because of my f my friends all played multiplayer and I was into, uh, I was really into Call of Duty 4 at the time, uh, and Call of Duty 5, so I thought what the hell, um, but I mainly bought Modern Warfare 3 when I, when I bought it for the storyline, because I wanted to finish the whole thing between Captain Price, so and all of that and what is our break through the main gate okay but i also had black ops 2 for a while that was such a shitty game so uh, after that after mile for three after i bought that for just the storyline i returned it got skyrim and vowed to never play call of duty ever again and i have or the modern call of duties never to buy modern call of duties ever again and uh, I've kept up with that promise. I never bought Black Ops 2, and I never bought Call of Duty Ghosts, and I never will. Um, but the whole storyline with Soap and Captain Price starting from Call of Duty 4 was really, really interesting to me. It was a really good storyline, too, and there's a lot of depth to it. I love this badass rifle. This is a house right here. This is a house. How do we get in? Through the side, I presume. Oh, he's falling over. Whoa, someone just pulled up in a car. Or a truck. Oh. A motorcycle. Watch out, please. Get in there, grab any docks, knock out the communications, then meet back up with us. I said press F for something. Oh, shoot.
It's a nice lamp for a bathroom. <laughs> Look, a weird armoire in the bathroom. It's not an armoire. Well, armoire is like a coat closet type thing, right? A little, a little wooden table, I should say. Oh, you s wow. Oh, man. You see this desk? I'll specific, specify or elaborate in a second. But um, this desk, I, I used to own one of these in my home. A really, really old one. They're very, they were very popular during this era. And, and I had like a, a modern one. Obviously, it wasn't from the 40s, but it was like from the 60s or something. It was old. Um, but this would slide up and you'd have your desk underneath it. And, it was pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed that desk. It's a shame we got rid of it. I would like I would like to restore it. Uh, what are we looking for again? Oh, documents. Who lived here? Probably a uh, Uber Fiera. Some commandant. Find the secret communications room. Oh, they're on the balcony. This must be the the main entrance. Oh man, I'm getting creamed here. Maybe not. Ooh, health, perfect. That's what I needed. I have 15 bullets left in this thing. What a shame. I love this thing. Huh, no one? Oh, oh, oh! Damn! They tagged me down fast! Really, I start here? Knock him out early before I waste any more fucking health on them. I think he dropped the grenade on himself, yeah. Ah, shoot! I'm gonna die because I can't get down the stairs. I think my keyboard just ghosted right at the end there, too. Jesus. Oh my god. There's more though. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Not the most accurate weapon. Where are my guys? Oh, knocked out. Actually, let's take that take that back just in case we get ammo for it. Uh, here's the dining room. But I was gonna open this door for us, right? You twist it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah! 
Find and secure the prisoners. Oh, now you get in here. Champagne. Oh, I just did a big loop. Big loop the loop. Ah, this basement's very elaborate. Don't stop now. Price and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them. Hey Price, we're gonna see Price. Yay. <laughs> Ow. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna die, because that took up so much. Look at my health. Yep. Wow, okay, well, I learned. Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them. Nineteen eleven, the Wehrmacht. Oh, oh. Well, goodness me, Americans. Okay, well, that's obviously not the voice actor, but he does have the... Uh, the color of the hair is a little different, but he does have the, uh, the same mustache. But that's definitely not the right... Um, okay, so we located the prisoners. Clear the way to the extraction point. Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Don't worry, I overheard where. Wow, wow. I feel like an ass dying in this game. Suppressing fire. Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Major Ingram. They moved him to a camp. Don't worry. I overheard where. God, oh, it happened again. You guys coming upstairs or what? No more health? Huh. Jesus. Oh, is that an MP44? What's this guy doing? Well, why couldn't we just enter through this way? Okay. All right. Well, that's about it for today. I am so tired. I'm not even gonna edit this tonight. Uh, it's gonna kill me because it's kind of one of the things that plays in my OCD. Uh, you know, I want to edit it right now, but it's fine. We'll edit it later. Um. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you guys later.